hello you are welcome how to solve this nice olympia problem from here you are given 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x equals to 39 and we are finding the value of x from here let's also write 4 and 8 here to base 2 and this is already 2 raised to power x then this will be plus 2 square then raised to power x, 2 square is 4, then plus 2 cubed, then raised to power x, which is equal to 39 from here. And then from here, we can interchange this power because when we have a raised to power m, raised to power n, this is a raised to power m, which we can also write as a raised to power n, then raised to power m. Since they multiply, then we can interchange the power from there. Then from here, this becomes this line becomes 2 raised to power x, then plus 2 raised to power x, then all squared, then plus also 2 raised to power x raised to power 3, then equals to 39. So from here we have 2 raised to power x common here. So use a letter here to represent that. So let t let t be equals to 2 raised to power x. Then this equation becomes t plus t square, then plus t cube equals to 39. And uh, in the next step, we can rearrange this and also take 39 to this side. So when we write t cube first, we have t cube plus t squared, then plus t minus 39 now equals to 0 then from here we have a cubic equation also we can write this square again as minus 3t square plus 4t square so this will give us t square that's plus t square so when we join this together we have t cube then minus 3t square plus 4t square then plus t here minus 39 equals to 0. And uh, from here, what is common between these two terms? We factor it out and this will give us t squared. Then we have t minus 3 left. Also, here, yeah, let's write this as 4 t squared. Then this t also, we can rewrite it. And that will be equals to, that will give us minus 12t plus 13t so minus 12t plus 13t here is same thing as t then minus 39 equals to zero then we can be able to factorize now so from here in the next step we already have t square into bracket t minus 3 here then in this two terms, we factor what is common. We have 4t out. Then we have t minus 3 left. Also, between these two terms, we factor what is common. We have plus 13. Then into bracket t minus 3 as well equals to 0. So therefore, we have t minus 3 common. Then we can factor that out from here. So this becomes t minus 3. Then into bracket, what is left here? T square, and then from here plus 4t. From here we have plus 13, which is equals to zero. So we have two possible cases here. We have t minus 3 equals to zero, or we have t square plus 4t plus 13 equals to zero. On this side we have t equals to 3 and uh, from this side we let's check whether we are going to have a resolution from here so we have the discriminant equals to b square minus 4 ac and from here this will be equals to b here is 4 that means we have 4 square minus 4 a is 1 then c is 13 then from here, the discriminant will then give us 16 
4 square is 16, then minus 4 times 13, we have 52. So when we subtract this, of course, 16 minus 52 here give us minus 36. So we have minus 36, which is less than 0. So we now say from here, there is no resolution. No resolution from this side. Then on this side, we have t to be equals to 3 from here. Then from here, we represented t as 2 raised to power x. So we can bring this, you know, value of t down, which is 2 raised to power x. Then we say that from here, t, which is 2 raised to power x, will then be equals to 3. Then when we take the log on both sides, we have log 2 raised to power x, will then give us log 3. So applying power law from here, x we come to the back here, we have x log 2 equals to log 3. And from here we divide both sides by log 2. So divide this side by log 2. Also divide this side by log 2. And from here log 2 cancel each other. Then we can now write and say, therefore x here will give us, x will then be equals to, log 3 over 2 which we can also write from change of base and say this is log 3 base 2 so here we have the solution to the problem which is x equals to log 3 base 2 thank you for watching please share this video subscribe to my channel also give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now